All right, Pisces, we're going to jump into your reading for today. So, let's see what love energy is coming out. We are going to see who you're going to... Huh. Who you're going to marry, who you're going to have a long-term commitment with. Whatever the energy is coming out, okay, you're being divinely guided and protected from someone who's unavailable. Okay, so at this point, you're being divinely guided from someone who has an unavailable energy. Someone who can't give you everything that you want, everything that you need. So now they're going to bring someone in where you should trust this person. And I feel like some sort of distance from whoever this unavailable person is is actually going to show you that that person's not meant for you and that you should actually trust. Yeah, somebody's going to come in that's going to lighten up your energy. There's going to be a lot of goofing off, laughing, conversations, being able to recognize that this un unavailable person had a lot of red flags. Being able to see that you could never be vulnerable with whoever you were being protected from. Because I'm definitely getting that you have been protected from someone who couldn't give you what you want, what you needed. But it's bringing in someone who's vulnerable. Let's get more. Give me more for the person that Pisces is going to marry. For some of you, you're going to have to travel to meet this person. There's a playful energy. Growth. A lot of growth. A lot of expansion. Prosperity. Success. All of these jumped out. Grace and knowledge. Yeah, you're supposed to be going through a season of maybe uncertainty. And maybe you're in that season right now where a lot of things are uncertain. And there's a lot of people who are being generous to you that maybe you didn't ever see coming it's like the people that you bet on aren't the people that you can bet on and the people that you never seen coming that we're going to be blessings are opening yourself up to a playful energy seeing a lot of growth having a lot of expansion also maybe i feel like you're also starting to trust yourself that even if someone blindfolded you you, you trust your nolem, your knowledge, your wisdom, and your gut that if you feel something, you know for it to be true. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you're blindfolded and someone puts you in a kitchen. If you feel an oven or a stove, your mind's going to say that's an oven and a stove. You're not going to be standing there fighting with yourself going, oh, but is that a microwave? No, I trust myself. I know that even if I'm blindfolded, that what I feel and what I know to be true is true. Having a lot of prosperity and success coming to you. This connection is going to be very prosper pro prosperous as well. Okay, some of you could get married at the age of 44, 49, 34. Some of you could be going through a lot of changes right now. A lot of changes that are putting you in a position of prosperity and success. Showing yourself grace. Whoever this new person is, whoever this person is that you're going to marry, they're going to be very graceful. They're going to be very smart. They could come off as like an air sign. Someone who has great conversation skills. Someone who's fair. Someone who's logical. Someone who takes all things into perspective before they make a choice or a decision. Someone who's learned a lot of lessons. This person's very wise. This person also likes to be some sense of secretive. They're not the kind of person who would go on Facebook and go, oh my God, my wife just went shopping at TJ Maxx and it made me mad. Or, oh my God, my husband just went and bought this and it made me mad. Like, that's not the kind of person that this person is. But I do get a sense that you're going to have to be flexible for this person to come into your life. Getting clarity. Maybe even getting clarity on some sort of transformation that's been happening. A transformation, again, that's been been protecting you and leading you to this person, to this future. Who is this person that you're leaving behind that's unavailable? Let's get a different deck. Who is this person that you're leaving behind that's unavailable? And then we're going to jump into the person that you're going to have some sort of commitment with. Okay, that could have been a sexual connection, a lot of passion. Could have been some sort of message of truth or clarity that you're getting. About what you need when it comes to what someone's willing to give and even take. 
This unavailable person could be spying on you. Yeah, feeling left out. There's also maybe even clarity and truth here that this person never truly fulfilled you. They never showed up for you. They never asked you the questions that they needed to ask. For some of you, they never even tried to get to know you. But there's been major change and transformation. So this connection is done. You and that unavailable person is over. Done. The only way that this person will ever get close to you is either seeing you in town, seeing you on social media, but they'll never be close enough to you to know what you're doing, know what you're going through, unless that's something you want them to know. So a lot of lack, maybe even meeting this person when you were in a time of your life where you felt very in despair, alone, sad, disappointed, not realizing that you had the key to open that door. You could have got yourself out all along. Here's the key. There's the door. But you were in a place where you were just so like, oh my God, I thought this was it. I thought this was my forever. I thought this was my person. I thought this was going to be the person that's going to show up for me. And you quickly realize that. They didn't. They only made you feel more alone, more misunderstood. It's interesting because I shared something the other day that said, I hope you find someone who speaks your language so you don't have to spend a lifetime um, something, something your soul. Oh, God, what was I saying? I hope you find someone who speaks your language so you don't spend a lifetime translating your soul or something like that and it just simply means that sometimes in life we can be with the wrong people who don't mean to mis in misinterpret misunderstand misuse and mistrust us but if it's not a good fit that's what happens if it's not a good fit that's kind of what evolves so give me more on this person that you're going to be marrying how are they going to view you Okay, they view you as someone who's had the ability to move out of rough waters into calmer waters. There's been some sort of communication here with the person that you're going to marry that you've told them. You know what? People have treated me like crap. I've had to choose myself over and over and over again. And I'm just now at a point where I'm finally getting peace. I'm finally getting calm. I finally feel like... I can love myself the way that I want to love myself. And I'm no longer inviting these people into my life who are going to bring chaos. You've learned a huge lesson for you. One of the lessons is that when people return, it isn't always in your best interest. Sometimes you have to just put their butt right back in that car and tell them to put it in reverse and just get on out of town. Because this isn't, love don't live here no more. You've also learned that just because you choose someone doesn't mean that they choose you. And just because they say that they're choosing you doesn't mean that they're choosing you. But this person sees you as someone who's had the ability to fight through those tough seasons. You've had the ability to not let people who have cheated on you, manipulated you, ghosted you, used you like you were property. You've not let those people let you love any less. If anything, you love more. You love yourself more to not put yourself in those situations. But you also recognize that real meets real. You're going to meet someone who's real, who's authentic, who isn't just who they say that they are, but they're going to show up as that person. So whoever this is really views you as a very strong individual, someone who's not let life and its challenges and its ugliness turn you into a cold-hearted, cold-hearted person. But maybe it's taking you time to get to where you're at. Yeah. There's a lot of communication here. This person's going to want to learn a lot about you, want to get to know you more. You could be unsure. There could also be something here where they could view you as someone who does have, I don't want to say commitment issues, but I feel like they view you as someone who is like, okay, um, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I want to make sure that you are what you say you are. You do have a sense of, I'm not putting myself in any sort of commitment, marriage, any kind, any kind of connection, unless I know that this person can show up for me the way that I need them to. So they do view you as someone who's maybe not... Okay, this is not a reading for someone who's out dating a new person every five days. That's not the kind of person that this reading's for. You're the kind of person who's very guarded, very shielded from love, from being open with people, understanding. Yeah, you've got your guard up. You've been used. You've been abu abused. And 
If you've been physically abused, mentally, emotionally, I'm so sorry. Please get help. Please do not put yourself in that kind of situation. But what I mean by abused is there's been people who's tried to tell you they were going to do one thing and do something different. There's been people who's got your hopes up to show you that you should have never trusted them to begin with. That They didn't care. They only wanted what they wanted. And they got what they wanted. That's all that mattered to them. You're a lot more guarded when it comes to you investing your time, your energy, your love. You don't even want someone to come into your household now or to come in your car or to even text you unless you know what they're wanting. Where, where do you think we're going with this? What's your end goal? Because if we're just going to be texting each other good morning for the next two weeks, I'd rather not. Let's just skip that. Like that's your energy here, cutting out the bullshit. But this person also sees those wounds and this person also sees that those wounds have hurt you enough that when this person comes in, this right person they got to be cautious. They got to be careful. They have to know how to handle you. They have to know what your triggers are and what you've been through. So they know not to do that. You know, if you've always dealt with players, this person has to come in and make sure that you see that they're not a player, that they will take those actions and do those things that they need to do to show you, no, I've got you. I'm the kind of person that says what they mean. I'm the kind of person that does, I put my money where my mouth is. And that's the kind of person you need because, you know, in a reading I just did a minute ago, it was saying how there was a mi mixed balanced energy of you dealing with someone who didn't see you as the strong, determined, willful individual that you are. And whoever this is is seeing that, but also sees that you've let the wrong people in. And it's really tainted your trust. It's really made you say, well, can't let nobody else in now. <laughs> that's great. What, are, what do they feel for you? That they can put in the work, the effort, that they can actually make this go somewhere. They, they feel like this would be equal give and take. They feel like you're very independent, abundant, confident. They are a little worried that this could turn into a breadcrumbing energy because you are so unsure, you know? I mean... When you're first going into a commitment or even a marriage, you don't know if you're going to be together 10, 15, 20, 25 years. You don't know if that person in three years is going to tell you to get out and that they don't love you anymore. You don't know what that future looks like. So it's an energy here of this person being a little, un a little unsure, wanting to give to you, unsure, feeling like they want a new beginning. Why are they going back and forth? What's the two of pentacles? Okay. There's something here to do with marriage, stability, legacy, financial security. Um, why are they unsure? Are they unsure you? Okay, they could have had something that failed. Planning for the future, wanting you, but feeling stuck. Feeling disappointed about something that could possibly fall apart. Feeling like they want a new beginning. Unsure what that, again, new beginning has to offer. What are they feeling? There's a blockage here. When it comes to some sort of new love. Yeah, wanting to be honest. Wanting to balance. Wanting to... Okay, let's go to a different deck. So, what does this person feel in their heart space for you? The person that you are going to marry. What is this person feeling in their heart space for you? Okay, that's interesting. Those cards come off the bottom. Wanting to communicate about working together with one another. Feeling stuck. There is a lot of options. So, maybe this person, there's confusion here. Either confusion with you or confusion with them. There, there's a back and forth energy. What does new love look like for us? What is going to be that nice little median ground? Wanting to be honest and upfront with one another, but unsure what the future looks like. How are they going to fix this? An offer of love. It could take a few months for you guys to work out the kinks. Planning for the future. Taking a leap. Taking a risk. I see someone. There is a squirrel top energy here. I do see... I don't know what that was. I do see that there's going to be movement forward here. There's going to be conversation, getting on the same page. But I do see for you guys to maybe get married or have a sense of commitment, get engaged or say, you know what? Here's a promise ring. I'm committed to you. You're committed to me. Maybe even moving in together. That could take a few months to a few years for you guys to get on the same page. That could be the juggling energy. I feel like one person wants to move this quicker than the other. What 
does Pisces need to know about this person that they're going to marry, get with, have a future with? It's a major change and transformation. You could lose sleep. You could be anxious. There is so much energy here about the unknown. Someone here has been so hurt and so wounded by all connections or most of the connections in their life that when something majorly changes and transforms, it can. I'm starting to get like major. I'm about to have a panic attack. Okay, I feel like whatever this situation is, when this person comes in, it's an energy of them really coming in and wanting to sweep you off your feet, but you wanting to take it more in a slower pace. Someone here is unsure. You know, do you want to get married? I feel like they want everything. This person wants to marry you. They want to share money with you. They want all of that. There could be a sense of disappointment in that, though. You guys could realize or find out that um, there's going to need to be a lot of reflection and a lot of talking about the future for you guys to work out these kinks. Again, it could take a few months to a, a year for you guys to work out these kinks. What do I mean by kinks? Okay, um, how fast are we going to move in together? Maybe one of you has an idea of three weeks. The other you, other, the other one of you is like, ha ha, that's cute. I was thinking like two years. Like, that's what I'm getting. I feel like there is a sense of different pace, different energy. One of you is ready to risk it all, risk everything you know, you love, you, you'll ever be. And the other one's like, calm it down, Romeo. Like, we're not doing that. There's a lot that I don't know. It makes me anxious. It makes me lose sleep. And until I can have full confidence in this, I think we should slow it down a little bit. I see you being unsure. I see you recognizing that this is the beginning of your future and what your life is now will change, will transform. But you feeling unsure about how you feel about that. Yeah, asking yourself, is this justice? There's an energy here that when this person comes in that is going to be stability, you're feeling very independent, confident, and abundant, abundant on your own. And I feel like that's what makes it kind of even harder. You don't want to lose yourself in this person. You don't want to lose what you have, who you are in this person. Feeling like maybe you're having to get rid of a version of you that you've come to love, that you're really comfortable in. Because, you know, when you go from being single to getting into a connection that leads to marriage, you being by yourself is a thing of the past. And let's say you have children, you have animals, you start growing that home together. Again, you being by yourself is a thing of the past. Recognizing, but also maybe recognizing that you're not ready to let that go. So, what, what, what are their intentions with you? They're wanting to help you get through some sort of discontentment when it comes to endings. They want to change the way you look at love. Yeah. Wanting to bring a spark back to your life. Wanting to manifest a new future. Doing a lot of self-reflection. Wanting to show you that you don't need to be guarded. That they're going to fight for you. That this is a cycle completed. But you have a lot of fear. You don't want this person... To come into your home just to make a muck to go right back out. I see a lot of truth. I see a lot of balance. I see you as the queen of wands saying, okay, again, Romeo, take it down a notch. Let's talk about this real quick because you want to come up in here and sweep me off my feet. And that's all fine and dandy, but mm, let's be realistic. You're wanting to make sure a cycle's been completed before you even tiptoe near this person. Let's get advice for that. What do you need to do with this person that you're marrying? I think it's great that you're going in being very fair-minded, logical, and I don't want to say on guard, but protective of yourself. You know, you don't want to put yourself in a situation to where you're living the same lesson or cycle over and over and over, and I see that. I see you waiting until you feel like it's safe for you to open up. You know, yeah, there's a lot of chemistry here. And there could even be recognition that this person is very fair-minded, logical, smart. You know, they do match you in that energy where unless they're sure what they're wanting, they're not coming in. They're not ready. They're, they're not wanting to play games. You've dealt with people who's left you on red. Who's done things when it hasn't been an accident. They've been malicious. 
them wanting to show you that those endings that were agonizing and painful, although they've really made you um, gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge, that you don't have to live in that, in that pain anymore. They want to show you what love is, what it should be. And I also feel like this person's going to bring in so much love that you felt like you never got back from other people. But feeling guarded, feeling scared, having new beginnings, but feeling like you don't want to miss any red flags. Getting to know one another. Yes, worth waiting for, and it is safe for you to love. That's what I'm saying. You recognizing that you deserve to give this a chance. So this person's been very open with you. And that maybe there's somebody that you've let go of that had red flags. That yeah, there was an intense connection. But maybe there was a lot of influences that constantly made you feel left out. Not worthy enough. When is this person coming in? This new person. Huh? Well, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse is telling me that they've made up their mind. There's no sense of indecision. I'm ready to come in and I'm ready to fight for this. The Five of Wands is conflict, chaos, drama. I want to work on this. And I'm going to prove to you that I want to work on this. When's this coming in? Some sort of celebration, happiness, shenanigans. When? When is it coming in? Three, three days, three weeks, three months. I do see an energy here. Maybe you're not recognizing this person right off the bat. Not seeing success and victory. Feeling scared. Feeling unsure. Feeling like you've grown so much as an individual. Again, not wanting to put yourself into something where it's like, great. I got to rebuild from this again. You don't want to set yourself up for failure. And I feel like when this person comes in, they're going to approach you so quickly. And again, wanting to take it so quickly that you're going to be like, wait a second. Wanting some sort of stability. You using your intuition. Yeah, you're going to have to make a head over heart decision. What do you want from a new beginning? There could be somebody that's actually going to be heartbroken that you get into some sort of commitment or some sort of higher level of commitment yeah and it could be somebody that felt that you were very bound to them there's some sort of burden with whoever that is whoever the person is that's going to be sad and disappointed that you've moved on that you're getting into another connection and really giving your all to someone else they could have been burdened by some sort of family unit, legacy, home, finances. There's some sort of fear or something that they were holding on to. This person could have also lied to their self, telling their self that they would have moved this forward with you. But this person could have taken years. For some of you, it could take them six years before they got to a point that they could have offered you anything. And even then, it would have been something little. It wouldn't have been something that you... You manifested. You deserve more. That's that unavailable energy. And it's like this person's been saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come back for you. I'm going to come back for you. And the universe is like, okay, that's cute that you even think that's going to be there when you get back. We're about to show you just how popular Pisces is and how Pisces is done with your shit. So then you have someone coming in ready to show you. Interesting. I'm hearing that song. They read you Cinderella. You hoped it would come true. That one day your Prince Charming would come rescue you. Feeling like, again, male or female, it does not matter. You can be a male in the feminine energy. Ready to receive. Tired of trying to prove yourself to these people and saying, no. I need someone to step up and look at me and go, wow, you're a hell of a fella. I think I want you. What was I asking? Okay, future. What's happening here in the future with this? Somebody could be coming back around. You could have to make a head over heart decision. You could be unsure. Y'all, I'm telling you, somebody's probably going to want to come back around. It could be some sort of wish fulfillment. But somebody's also going to step up to you. They're going to give you a message of truth. Should Pisces take this person? Well, I mean, I feel like you will because it's somebody you're going to marry. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it come out in the reverse. No longer holding back. Seeing You're seeing this person as someone who wants to step up. Someone who's wanting to invest. 
So it's like you're taking this person at face value. This person is showing up, wanting to invest, wanting to get to know you, coming by your house and seeing you, doing those things that you felt like other people didn't really do for you. And it's because this person wants to prove to you that they see you as something solid, as something worth committing in. And the fact that you're still by yourself blows this person's mind. But also recognizing that they have to take it slow because of everything that's happened. And meanwhile, whoever this unavailable person is, is really going to regret everything that they did. Whoever this unavailable person is could be in a committed relationship. Just because I was talking about them and it come out, that person could have lied to you. They could, um, yeah, they could be at a place right now where they're really wanting you. Maybe even seeing, or you could have seen that that person left you before you could leave them. That person was very insecure. Who's the new person that you're going to marry? I miss seeing you. So it's going to be somebody who's going to miss being around you when they're not with you. Again, wanting to put in that effort, feeling you, even though you guys were apart. Seeing 111, feeling like they would do everything all over again to be with you. Again, this is an action taker. This is an action taker. This is someone who takes that action, who sees an opportunity coming, and it's like, oh, my God, I'm not missing this opportunity. You and this person match each other's effort. Very good. I want to tell you how I feel. Your new person that you could be marrying or the person you're going to um, experience... A good solid amount of time with could have been going through a lot of lessons here recently. Feeling grateful for that, but also feeling like they're ready for the future with you. I wonder if you're happy without me. Yeah, I feel so happy with you. Feeling really happy with you. Feeling like you're, yeah, feeling really drawn towards you. Hmm. Again, you can meet this person while you're traveling. So it doesn't mean that you have to be going long distance. It could just mean that you're in your car. You could be traveling down the road to your mailbox. Just a hop, a skip, and a jump away. Yeah. This is meant to bring balance in. Balance into all those connections and things that you gave into that broke your heart, that disappointed you, where you felt like you got backstabbed and betrayed and people didn't care. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to get all that energy and that love back. And it might not be from those people, and that's fine. But those people are going to see you and be like, why are you glowing? Why do you look so happy? Oh, my God. Do you see who he's with? Do you see who she's with? That's who's making you happy? Wow. And then, you know, sometimes, y'all, when things like that happen, that's what I was about to say, it can make you actually look and go, so why are they so happy and why, even when I'm with someone, do I feel so alone? Or why do I feel like I shouldn't let love in? Like, it, it makes people go, okay, wait a second. I didn't destroy you. If anything, I opened up the gateway for someone amazing to come in and show you how amazing you are. Feeling sad and disappointed. Somebody's going to feel sad that they didn't take some sort of um, opportunity. Hmm. sucks to suck it could be because they're having finance or career issues but again you felt like this person could have been the one there was a lot of passion but I don't feel like this person really made the effort the effort interesting okay we're actually going to leave that here have a blessed day guys